yo, 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 what's going on everybody, back at it, some more sixes talk, um, <clears throat> not going to get into one um, too much, just want to touch on a couple of things that I've seen, um, but Brown, he spoke on team chemistry, um, as you guys know, and for you guys who do not know, don't forget to like and subscribe, besides that. A lot of talk has been going on about Coach Brett Brown switching Ben Simmons to the power forward position. So that's the talk of the town. That's the talk of the bubble. So let's talk about it. You know how we do. Um, putting the ball in Shake Milton's hands as the point guard would definitely free up Ben Simmons. And that should scare people because he was already a phenomenal passer. Um, handles the ball very well lightning fast now he's bigger he's stronger how can you still hate but well, moving on um coach was talking about ben simmons on i guess his progress how he is looking in the bubble um coach is pleased with his progress um with his shooting um, he's touched on I me. Mean, a lot of people are giving him flat. I'm um, talking about, yes, he's shooting, but at the same time, we want to see him do it in an actual game. When you got somebody hands in your face, you know what I mean? And to be honest with you, I do too. But what you need and everybody need to realize is he's shooting. And not only he's shooting, he's actually shooting the ball well. So if it is a situation of quote unquote confidence why he is not shooting the ball more in an active game, by him shooting the ball in the bubble, especially consistently and consistently making those shots, especially at the three point range and in the corner, he's like in the corner, which is rare. So that should also um, worry people because he's not afraid of that corner shot. And he's a lefty. So, moving on. As his shot progresses, I mean, it's going to be scary. Because that is the only thing that Ben Simmons is really lacking. Don't get me wrong, he is a professional. So, as a professional, you work on every aspect of your game. But as far as weaknesses, his shot is his only weakness. And people talk about his shot, for real, for real, he has a mid-range game. He just didn't have a three-point shot. You know what I'm saying? 18 for I mean, he just didn't have that distant shot. You know what I mean? He had to bring that target a little bit closer. But now he's learning how to shoot at range and getting better at range and doing it more consistently. He's going to gain that comfort level. And once he once he once he, once he is in that comfort zone, trust me, they're gonna they're gonna, they're gonna start telling that dude, man, stop shooting. Pass the ball. And once they get to that point, then I'm going to tell people, man, you know, we need to shut up, shut up. Because when the boy wasn't shooting, it was a problem. He couldn't shoot. Now he's shooting too much, and it's a problem. You know what I'm saying? So as they say, you had to do one of these to people. You know what I mean? But moving on. Um, ben Simmons, Joel and B, um, their spacing and their chemistry on the floor should not only improve, but they should actually show people what the team and what coach has been wanting people to see all along. They can work synergistically well together. It's all about spacing. So now that he has that new power forward position, it frees him up. You know what I mean? So they'll be able to play off the ball, be able to play off of each other better. And that also should scare people. Like I said, man, I told everybody, watch one of my previous videos. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, by the way. When I was talking about the sixes in a bubble, and I told you, my starting five going into the season and coming out the bubble, however you want to do it, should be Shake Milton, T. Stiebel, Tobias Harris, Ben Simmons, and Joel Embiid. That should be the starting five, in my opinion. You know what I mean? Everybody else, you already know where you're coming from. You know what I'm saying? Coming off that bench. It ain't in a bad place to be. 
as long as when we come off the bench, Josh Richardson or whoever, you know what I mean, that we have, you know, we 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 need we need to get a viable six man. I don't know who that is yet, but we need to get that. You know what I mean? That Jamal Crawford. You know what I'm saying? Kind of, uh, you know what I mean? Lou Williams type 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 energy, type caliber, type skill coming off of the bench. So whoever we bring in. Um, not only he can stretch the floor, but he can he can shoot, he can score. But he also has to be a defender, um, because Ben Simmons, hell of a defender. Joel B, hell of a defender. T. Stable, hell of a defender. Um, Shade, good defender, but I uh, I want to see more, and I think that definitely will um, progress. But Tobias Harris, also a good defender. So once we lock people down on defense. And our offense, we allow our offense, we open up the floodgates on them, allow everything to flow, allow that ball, you know what I'm saying, to rotate around the floor smoothly. Because like I said, now Ben Simmons will be even more dangerous passing the ball. You know what I mean? And Shake too. Don't sleep. Shake is nice. You know what I mean? That 39-point game that he had, guess what? It's going to be more of those coming. It's going to be more of those coming. Next time, man, shake my mess around and drop 42 on y'all. You know what I'm saying? Because when somebody's having a bad night, Tobias, Simmons, and B, or somebody is hurt, we need guys to step up. And we need guys to step up consistently. Meaning when coach calls your number, you come off the bench and you hop in the game, you want to exhibit that same level of play whenever your name is called. So this way you're insured that your number and your name is called. And when you hit that floor, you're bringing everything to the table that you need to be. So we can only be productive, but we can win. And that's what it's all about, winning. Because Sixers are winners. Yeah, we kind of shaking on the road, but I think that we can get past that. And this is the ultimate test, being in the bubble. Because we're away. It ain't no try to be away already. So I just hope they're taking that mentality. And Coach Brett Brown is basically just telling everybody, look. Look at this like we're home. Because truth of the matter is, that is everybody's home temporarily. But it is your home for right now because y'all can't lead above. You know what I mean? So being as though you can't lead above, hey, everybody got to get used to it. And the quicker that you get used to it and you transition your mind, your energy, and your thoughts, the better that you will practice, the better you will perform, and the better that you will play. So the chemistry that the guys are having, you see them flying around, you see them flying around the court, man, everybody's energy, I mean, they're playing well. I like that. And not only I like that, but it's showing me how good we are going to be when this season picks back up and we start playing some ball. But as a fan, it is heartwarming to see my guys in there practicing and playing the game of basketball again. Excuse me. It truly is. But you know what? I want to insert something real quick because I've seen... And this is, I'm talking about, this ain't got nothing to do with the Lakers. I'm talking about the White Howard as a man, as a brother. He is the only person that I've seen so far, man, with everybody being in that bubble, that actually spoke about and brought back to the forefront what's going on as far as social injustice going on out here. I've seen interviews with LeBron and a couple of other um, quote-unquote heavyweights in the game and nobody spoke about nothing the only thing you heard somebody talking about was not putting something on a jersey nobody give a damn about that the whole purpose of y'all having that platform especially in the bubble is to keep is to, is to keep the message on the forefront you know what I mean and I gotta salute to Dwight Howard for that because he really brought a lot back and reminded everybody, like, look, yeah, we here, but at the same time, like, this is what we're supposed to be promoting. 
we're not supposed to be talking about um, face masks and COVID-19 and all that because we're already living that. That's why we're in the bubble. When you hop in front of these cameras and you and, you, and these guys is talking, I don't know about the whole segment or the whole interview, but a part of that should be talking about what's going on outside that bubble. Because just because you're inside the bubble, you're still black. You're still a part of the struggle. You're still a part of the battle. You know what I'm saying? You're just in a bug. But you still got the cameras in front of you. You got guys actually filming what's going on to give everybody an inside look. That's also an opportunity for you guys to keep that message relevant. And circulate. So I hope they see this video. You know what I'm saying? They step it up in regards to that. But salute to the people who are. You know what I'm saying? So when I seen that video yesterday, man, like I said, I had to sh I had to shout the White Howard out because as a man, I respect that. We're moving on back to the Sixers. My team, they are going to be a problem. Now, it doesn't matter the Bucks, the Nets, whoever. You know what I mean? Celtics. <laughs> we are built to beat anybody. And then if the right situation, if the, if, the, if the elements are placed correctly in our favor, correctly in our favor, we can dominate. We can dominate, y'all. I'm telling you, I truly believe that. I truly believe that. Don't let people misconstrued and scared you away talking about man talk just basically talking about all our all our woes all the negatives and they fail to shed the light on all the positives about our team about our players about our coaches it hasn't been an easy road for Brett Brown but he's kept that team together focused and he brought all those players back besides God's blessing to that bubble with no confirmed cases. You got to salute coach for that. He kept his guys' heads where they were supposed to be. Yeah, we're not playing ball right now, but I need y'all to bunker down. You know what I'm saying? Besides training in your prospective homes or buildings, wherever you may reside, we need you focused. We need you safe and secure. And we need you healthy. So in order to do these things, I need you guys to lock in, bunker down, and hold it down. So when we hit this bubble, we will hit it by way of storm. Because they talk about sleepers and all this kind of stuff, man. It's just the opposite, mm -hmm. baby. We woke out here. We are woke. And as long as we woke, as long as we have the ability, the ability, excuse me, to see our target in front of us, we will knock them all down. That's exactly how the six of need to be looking at these dudes, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, forget all that busting it up in the halls because y'all need to be social distancing any goddamn way. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is war. This us against y'all. So everybody on our team, man, like you ain't a part of our team other than that, man, you need to keep it general, keep it light, and keep it moving. For real. Have that mentality. Because that is what's going to push us through this period. You really gotta lock it in. You guys away from your family, your wives, your girlfriends, your life. So use that edge, use that chip to prepare you and the team where we need to be. And that's getting a championship. And I believe that we can get it done. I don't give a damn if it's the bubble, the hubble, or whatever. I believe we can get it done. So salute to six salute to the sixes. Salute to Brett Brown. And salute to everybody out here fighting this war as far as social injustice. And salute to everybody who has fallen in this battle. There's been some recent deaths. 
So may God bless these people who have fallen in a fight. So saying that, I hope everybody is well. I hope everybody stays blessed. Everybody stay focused. Remember, be righteous. And if you look for anything in this world, if you're searching for anything in this world, just make sure that you search and you find peace. Love. Bro talk. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm going to put a link down the bottom for some more sixes, bids. Peace.